In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure PaperCut for use with Sharewell Service Management. Uh, PaperCut is a lightweight SMTP server and email client available for free on CodePlex. It's a great tool to use when you want to do some unit testing in Sharewell Service Management, um, particularly with email notifications, without having to access a network or external SMTP server. Sometimes when working on a client system on a virtual machine, I like to work without network connectivity uh, to ensure that no emails get sent uh, where they're not supposed to go during testing. Uh, also, I like to uh, work when I'm in places where there is no network connection or no good one like on an airplane. Uh, PaperCut is a great utility to have in those kinds of situations. You'll need a network connection to install PaperCut, but once that's done, you can disable your connection when you use it. Uh, so let's get started. Let's have a look here. Uh, you'll see that PaperCut kind of lives down in the system tray here. And if I right click and choose options, uh, the options are very basic. Uh, it is a lightweight tool. It's great. So uh, I'll leave all the defaults. So IP address will be set to any port we'll be listening on is 25. And I'll go ahead and, and save that out. And as you can see, PaperCut is uh, also a bit of a email client here um, so that I can see what's coming out of Sharewell and uh, how those messages look, uh, are the links correct, that sort of thing, are they timed correctly. So I'll go ahead and minimize that for now. Let's go into our Sharewell Service Management admin tool. And here you'll see I'm going to go into um, email and event monitoring and email uh, edit email accounts and settings. And so I'm just using the default uh, Sharewell email placeholder account. Uh, this comes, uh, we're working on the uh, Sharewell service management 5.0 beta, but this can work with earlier versions as well. So I'll go ahead and click edit. So we have incoming server, outgoing server. We're not concerned with the incoming server for this purp for these purposes. So I'll click outgoing server and under SMTP server, under outgoing mail server, SMTP. I'm going to put the loopback address, or you can put localhost. Uh, under security, I leave that at the default, which is auto. And the default port is going to be 25. And as we saw in PaperCut, that's what that's what PaperCut is listening on. So that's good as well. Uh, we don't have any authentication since we're using PaperCut. Um, and we can come in here and the from address, we can set that as we'd like. Now I'll go ahead and test the account. And as you can see in Sharewell, my account was successful and I even got a little pop-up saying I had a new message. So go, let's go look at that. And here you see we have the uh, Sharewell Service Management test message has been received by PaperCut. And so this is great. If you're on a plane, you can uh, go ahead and work and test all you want. And you have all your messages here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that one for now. Um, click OK out of here. We're done with the admin tool. Let's go into the client tool. And here I just have a list of incidents. This is all sample data. And I just wanted to show you that uh, when a one step is running, uh, if you want to test that or you want to test a uh, business process or as they're called in five automation processes, uh, you can kind of just have paper cut sitting there and listening for all the traffic coming over port 25. Uh, let's just do another quick example here. I'm going to select this incident, go up to one steps, one step manager, and I've got some demo uh, one steps here. This is just the incident confirmation one step that comes with the demo system. And I'm just going to go ahead and select it and run it. And as you can see, I've got a new message received notification. I can go ahead and open that. And here you see it. This is, I get, I get the um, recipient. I get the subject line and uh, I've got the actual text of the email and uh, even links here I can I can kind of copy these out if I wanted to test them um, since I'm working without connectivity I can still view the hyperlinks um, and that that'll help you as well um, you can view the headers sections and the actual uh, markup behind the body if you're so inclined but it's that easy. Um, so in this video, I showed you how to configure PaperCut for use with Sharewell Service Management. 
uh, which is a useful tool when you want to work in an environment where you may not be able to reach an external SMTP server. Thanks for watching.